convert 35 mm, 127, 1 1.5 by 1.5, 126 kpk, 110, Advantex APS slides negatives into digital in 3 seconds. New large 4.3 color screen. New HDMI to out jack to view images on TV in high definition. Cable not included. Unique speed load adapters for fast loading slides negatives. Standalone no computer or software required. Included memory card size, 32.0 GB. Top reviews from the United States. Great slide conversion. This digital converter worked just as described. I've tried many different ways to convert my slides, sending them into scan digital, taking pictures of them projected on a screen, other brands of converters, but this is the first one that actually meets my needs. The conversions are as close to the quality of the originals as I've ever seen. It's easy to use and easy to upload to my computer. I highly recommend this product. Much better than I expected. I read reviews on just about every slide and film scanner available before landing on this one. I have to admit that even though I've been shooting slide film since the late 60s and I also needed to scan my father's slides, I really only had about 450 to 500 slides to scan. So while I usually do buy quite expensive photo gear, I decided to try an economy unit, after all if you don't spend a lot on one and the results aren't great, well then what have you to complain about? However this little Wolverine scanner works great. And the complaints about slow scanning are false. I got a routine down right away and for all the slides I had to scan I spent only a couple of hours one afternoon. In other words I was done in no time. The picture quality is fantastic. This little scanner corrected for incorrect white balance without me making any adjustments at all. When I was 15 years old I was developing Kodak Ektachrome film using the Kodak E4 processing kit. One day while bringing one of the developers to temp. I broke the bottle of developer in the pot of water on a hot plate as was my method. In a crazy quick decision I reached for a bottle of Kodak D76BW developer. The result was all the shots on that roll of film were very blue. When I scanned these slides with the Wolverine scanner they all came out color corrected. I just couldn't be happier with this little unit and recommend it to anyone looking for one to purchase. The sample photo was taken in 1956.